Konnichiwa, hope everyone's good. So I thought I would do an EDC update just because I've got some new stuff. So I'll just start off with uh, the first aid kit. Pocket first aid kit. Mostly some of the stuff that I used to keep in the wallet, but I've added a bigger gauze pad. Decided to take it out of the wallet because I just had a little bout of common sense. Most of the injuries and cuts that I get are on my hands. So I'll touch the wallet to get the first aid kit out. The wallet gets covered in blood. So it just made more sense to me to put it outside of the wallet. I've been keeping it in the wallet for years. So I don't know why it just clicked now. But there you go as far as the first aid kit goes. That's pretty much everything I used to keep into the wallet. The one you had one burn, she uh, burn shield and one antiseptic wipe. So that's everything that was in the wallet. But uh, burn shield, antiseptic wipes, and just band aids. Got a uh, water purification tablets, and just some gauze pads, and a waterproof bag. So that's the first aid kit. As far as the wallet goes, it's the Fly EDC wallet or the Fly Industries EDC wallet. I've actually got a new wallet coming, which I should get next week. But uh, as far as what I've got in here now is just uh, the snap knife, Norseman snap knife with a seal needle, uh, fish hooks. And Swedish ferrocerium rod. A signal mirror. Yeah, the coin. I'm not bother getting it out. And that's it now. And I've got the little smiley face paper clip thing. No money. Always broke. So as far as the knife goes, I actually ordered a new knife. It was the Boca Plus Zen Shin. So I ordered that three weeks ago and I got no uh, dispatch information. From the company I ordered it from so I went on and asked them if they're going to dispatch it they said it was out of stock but they should get it back in stock in within three weeks I already waited three weeks for it so I just cancelled it so I'm not getting that now I have tried looking other shops but every store I've looked at sold out so maybe it's another month or two people will stop buying them and get less excited about them then I'll be able to get it. And Kanye Hayes got it in the same day. I cancelled the order from the last uh, site. But uh, in the time it took us to say that they had that in stock, I looked at a different product, came back to that knife. It was out of stock, less than an hour. It's crazy. So as far as the knife goes, I'm sticking with the uh, Higo Nakami, the real one. I don't know why so many people go for the book plus Zen Shin, but nobody seems to go for the the real thing, the Higo Nakami. And the Zen Shin's mass produced. This is handmade in Japan. On top of that, it's safer than the Zen Shin as well. You can control it with the tab, and there's no way it's going to close on you. So, very safe knife. I know the Zen Shin's got a little tab as well, but... I don't know how solid that is, because obviously I haven't got it yet. Got a new bandana, military issue. This is Czechoslovakian, and it's a uh, triangular, just like the German one. I'm going to have to hem it though on this side. It's freeing out. 
I think it was supposed to be hemmed. It looks like it was folded originally, but for some reason they didn't hem it. But this is a brand new. I've still got the original package for it. It's all the way from Czechoslovakia. In mine was made in the, the 19... 73 So that's the new bandana I've also got a hank as well Still got the Pentley Park Camel hank with the uh, Micro fiber on the other side Flashlight, still using the uh, Nightcore EHC33. It's been pretty good so far. Three months now, I think I've had that. I think. Got a new Cubiton. Titanium. Actually got two. I just got this one today. I got a bamboo style one as well, also titanium. Can we carry in that one? Got a new pen as well. It's the Olight O Pen Mini. Tiny little thing. Only downside of this is the ink in it. Can't go near water because it mixes with the uh, ink and it just fouls up and makes it useless. But it's a uh, bolt action. And I've tried to put a Fisher Space Pen in here, and the uh, Fisher Space Pen inserts almost as long as the pen, so it won't fit. I've tried it, but it's a nice pen. All metal, aluminium. And the insert's uh, Olight brand. If it'll focus. And the spring on it's tapered as well, so it's thicker up here and tapers down towards the back. So that's my new pen. As far as the keys go, oh, to go with the pen, you obviously need a notepad, so I'm just using a cheapo memo pad from Asda. Keys have also changed. So I've got them on this ring with the uh, holes in it. So now when it's in the pocket, because of the holes, it all hangs like straight down. Whereas before, it was like that, sticking out on the sides. Obviously not that dramatic, but it was sticking out a bit, but now it just hangs really nicely down. All because of that ring. So I don't know why it's taken so long to buy these. These have been out for God knows how many years. But uh, yeah, there's a few things changed on here as well. i got a little titanium pillbox. I don't carry pills though because I don't really need any medication, but I've got uh, just some mints. Freshen the breath, and these are just uh, people peppermints. And I've also got a 511 rescue tool, it's got a carbide glass break or a seatbelt cutter, and a little pry bar on the other end oxygen wrench pretty much everything here is useless but the uh, seat belt works the seat belt cutter works well I've tried it on uh, old straps on a bag and the carbide glass breaker is actually really good as a scribe for metal plastic and wood so it's actually pretty handy it's completely useless though as a glass breaker because you can't really get any real purchase on it to break a window 
oxygen wrench who comes into contact with those nobody but the uh, seat belt cutter is useful carbide cutter is really useful carbide cutter carbide glass breaker is really useful as a scribe so i can get a lot of use out of that and the uh, little pry bore end is pretty useful i got a usb 32 gig and this has just got emergency contact information on it and it's got the antlers movie which i haven't watched yet so it's just on there i can plug it into my phone and watch it on that if i get bored but i've still got the uh, olight i want to or eos uh, the ingle bills of the grippers and the exotac nano striker xl and the titanium uh, carabiner thing so that's the keys now and there's no whistle on here because i've got a brand new whistle as well and it's a little too fancy to be knocking around with the keys so i wear it around the neck now so the whistle is also titanium it's uh, wee knives 120 decibels pretty nice and there's no weak link on the necklace because I'm not going to hang myself on that I've never heard of anyone hanging themselves on a necklace they just know a wives tale watch actually got a new watch as well but it's an old one it's a one that I've been wanting for years it actually belonged to my dad and I've always wanted it since I saw it it's a uh, Hewer Octavia It's beat up He wore it a lot Just needs a little bit of a clean He just gave us this today Didn't have straps on it It's been lying in a drawer for about 20 odd years He just says if it works I can have it So I wound it up and it's worked perfectly fine and it's never lost a second. So that's a watch I've wanted for God knows how many years. It's older than me. It's built like a tank. It's uh, automatic. It'll survive an EMP. So heavy as well. Dive watch. And the straps are off the Casio edifice. So that's it for my personal ADC, I'll get into the bags. So as far as the bags go, I don't have a set one because it's going to change depending on what I'm doing. But I've got a Romanian bread bag. The only thing I've done to it is add a little clip, put some gloves on and I've put some uh, straps on the bottom or on the back side. Now if I'm putting stuff in that's heavy and I don't want all the weight on one shoulder I can attach Alice clips to this and then attach that to the belt so all of the weight is on the hips and not the shoulders. I'm going modern 511 I think it's the Nitro Mini or Mini Nitro something like that. And the 511 Rapid Waste Pack. Mostly the contents that I always have in it, though it's going to, some of it's going to be taken out, some stuff's going to be added depending on what I'm doing, like I say. But I've got a spare field shirt, Ranger Rolled. I've got a British Army issue mosquito net. Head net just because the mozzies are coming out now so that's that got TP got a tenneke separate from the main first aid kit in the main first aid kit 
in the Helicon text pack. So in here I've got some uh, antiseptic cream. Got burn gel, big packet and small packets. Got some uh, wound dressing that I want to add with this because this is uh, the Israeli field dressing, but this has got a crap uh, bit that you wrap around, it just paper thin and it breaks. But the pad on this is really good and really absorbent, it comes out in a tuge. But uh, this goes around the pad and wraps around. It's stronger than the uh, stuff that comes with that. That just crap. And ticks are also out now, so I've got a uh, tick removers. And then just standard Google Kit stuff in the back. And more antiseptic wipes, band aids. Pads, and that's all that's in there. Got my little tech stuff. So, a battery charger, 8000 milliamp, and then I've got a little thing here. So, I've just got one of these USB things. And uh, little cable, so like if I wanted to watch the movie, I can plug that into there. So it'll go in. I always put this in the wrong way around every time the first time, and then that can go in somewhere. And then the USB will go in there. The phone charger will be plugged into that, so I can charge the phone and watch a movie at the same time and not have to worry about the phone running out of battery. And I've just got a little adapter as well. In case I want to charge the GoPro. That way I only need to carry the, uh, I think it's the A-type micro USB and that plugs into that, that's the C-type. And the GoPro is C-type, so... Whatever. So that's all my little tech. Got the tops pry probe and punch tool. Better than any of the keychain pry ball cropper you can get. Ranger butane lighter. Still awesome. Never had any issues with that since I got it. Got the Phoenix. Never wants to focus. TK11 tack. I thought I might be having problems with this thing, but I haven't yet. Victorinox Swiss stool. Audible and hats. I either have the bomber kangaroo leather, it's one of the squishy ones, so you can just fold it like that and stuff it in the bag. It takes up no real space. Or I've got the uh, Hazard 4. Boonie hat. Which again also, you can just scrumble it up and throw it in. All good hats, just because it's summer now. I want to keep the sun off of us as much as possible and don't like uh, sun cream because of all the chemicals that are in it. Some of it's carcinogenic, so I'd rather just cover myself up than put sun cream on. But that is my EDC for this month. Thanks for watching.